Hello YouTube friends, the Crypto Crane Gang here again with a detailed look at the brand new Antminer S9J 14.5 Terahash Miner. We'll start by quickly covering all the normal physical specs, then move right into a profit comparison review between the S9J and its predecessor, the S9i. Ready? Let's roll! So, as some of our faithful followers have pointed out, there's not a whole lot of merit in watching the literal unboxing process. That is, cutting the tape, opening the box, etc. But in the interest of transparency, we're still showing it just sped up a tad so we can get to the good stuff, as they say. But I do want to take one second to call attention to something new Bitmain is doing that we discovered during the unboxing process. Namely, including these little certification cards in minor boxes. Most of it is Greek to me, well, okay, Mandarin, actually. But it is worth pointing out two pieces of noteworthy information these cards contain. Right in the middle are lines detailing the miner's rated voltage and rated current. Or, in other words, the maximum voltage and current the miner can handle. Good? Good. Next, let's look at the miner's specs. To mix it up, we'll start with width, because that's just what I started with this time. Anyway, looks like it measures 5 inches wide. Next is length, which comes in at 13 and a half inches. And finally, height. Looks like the S9J is 6 inches high. And of course, we can't forget about the weight. Let's grab our handy dandy scale here, get everything powered on. And it looks like the S9J clocks in at 8 pounds, 14 ounces. There we go. Now let's move on to the more interesting stuff. What happens when the miner is actually powered on? First up, power consumption and noise. Once it's powered on and fully booted up, the S9J pulls about 1320 watts. And noise-wise, it kicks out just under 78 decibels of sound. Pretty standard stuff. And finally, the profit info. As a basis of comparison, we had both the S9J and a 14 terahash S9i run for just over 24 hours. Here's the S9i snapshot, where you can see it's been running for about a day and mining at just over 14 terahash per second. And there's the S9J snapshot, also running for just over a day and mining at just over 14 and a half terahash per second. Now then, as reported by the pool we were mining to, hence the slight discrepancy in hashing power as reported by the miner status pages, here's how both miners performed. The S9i averaged around 14.3 terahash per second, and after 24 hours of mining, it earned 0 0.00055153 Bitcoin. Converted to U.S. dollars, that is about $3.57 in one day. And the S9J mildly exceeded its reported capabilities, averaging 14 3 quarters terahash per second. After 24 hours of mining, it earned 0 0.00568889 Bitcoin. And converted into U.S. dollars, that's about $3.68 in one day. What's the difference between the S9i 14 terahash? And the S9J 14.5 terahash miners? About a dime a day. So there you have it. Let's quickly recap the important details that we covered. The S9J measures 13 inches long by 5 inches wide by 6 inches tall and weighs 8 pounds 14 ounces. Powered on and running, it pulls about 1,320 watts and produces 78 decibels of sound. And in one day, it mined 0 0.00056889 Bitcoin, which at the time of filming comes out to $3.68. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment below with any feedback or questions. Give the video a like. And of course, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, as we have new videos coming out all the time. See ya!